We have the Bengals and the Ravens in the final game of the season. And uh, <laughs> Bengals almost let this go for if you look at the first half. Yeah, they were down at halftime. <laughs> and it was sort of a similar position to the uh, to the Steelers as far as like, all right, they've been good all season. you got to feel like, all right, it's on the, you want to win. You know, they ended up not getting the bye week because the way things planned out. But they wouldn't have even been in the running for it if they flew this game. Yeah. So, you know, the way you've been playing all season, the, the uh, Ravens aren't a great team. You've got to think to get it together. And then they did, and they put up 17 points to seven in the second half. So they only gave up a touchdown in the second half, and they kind of put it on them, came back. So it was it was a good second half performance by the Bengals. You know what I just realized? And I'm going to go back to talking shit about the Browns again. Okay. <laughs> the Ravens yes. ended this season 5-11 and without... Right. Their starting quarterback without their starting running back, right. without their Steve Smith senior for whatever week he got injured. So obviously a very injured team, and they had two more wins than the Browns. Um, I said earlier in the season that I thought the Ravens were the worst team in the entire NFL. Yeah. And you know what? I still think that looking roster wise. They are the worst team in the NFL. The only reason they have those five wins is because John Harbaugh is a damn good coach. Yeah. That's it. That's it. He won games with backups. Yeah. Flat out. Uh, Kamar Aiken, who had been a journeyman, he went like three seasons, I think, without a reception. Came out as a lead receiver under this like under this offense full of backups. Yeah. Uh, like he went through, I think, four different quarterbacks. And was still posting good numbers no matter or it's at least three. I don't know. But he went through a lot of quarterbacks and still posted pretty damn good numbers week to week. And so despite the fact that the Ravens like had a really down year, John Harbaugh's been there. He's got the Super Bowl. He's gonna build this team back up. They'll get healthy. And the AFC North is gonna be I think it's gonna be kind of back to like it was last year with a bunch of contenders and then the Browns. Yeah, so. <laughs> pretty much. I was gonna say besides the Browns, holy, if you can expect the Bengals being as good as they played this year, if you can expect the Steelers to be healthy and play as good they've been playing this year, and then the Ravens coming back and being healthy and turning that their team around, which I do expect the Ravens to turn things around. There's no way they're going to be this bad again next year. I just, yeah, I crazy. Agree. It's crazy, insane. Because what it wasn't this season, but last season, all three of those teams made the playoffs last year. Right. Right. And honest, all three of those teams are very playoff worthy teams. All three of them. I mean, obviously this season, not so much the Ravens because. They just had a very, very unfortunate season with injuries, but ultimately, holy shit! I mean, that's that's a as whole far as division. this. The, the the Steelers, the Ravens, obviously have the Super Bowl way back when they first came about, and then, but in the last like this, let's just say this decade, they've all been contenders in the playoffs. I mean, the Pittsburgh Steelers opened it with an appearance. The Ravens won one. Since he's been making the playoffs, they just haven't been able to get you know make a run at it once they get there. But and these teams have all been multiple playoff appearances. Like the AFC North, I think is uh, maybe not this year, but at least like through the course of the last five or six or so, it's probably been the best AFC division, most competitive AFC division. Oh, by, by far. far, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a tough division to play in. <laughs> I mean, you got to feel for the Browns because they're a really bad team that might have had a shot in the AFC South. That's actually a really good point. If they were in the yeah. AFC South, they could be like a way better team than they look. They just... For the, in a, the NFC lease, maybe. Yeah, yeah, even in there. It's just, uh, they they really are unfortunate because like, not only do they have to rebuild a team, then they have to play six games out of the season on really, yeah. really good teams. Yeah. So that's, that's really hard. But the, the Ravens, I think, will, will be back and the Bengals are they're there again. They gotta win and they gotta play Big Brother. So yeah, this is you know, hey, I got I'll say this much. I'm gonna save my prediction and stuff. But as far as the setup goes, 
if you want to legitimize your team and kind of get the monkey off your back, beating the Steelers in the playoffs, that's what you want. That's the way to do it. If they beat the Steelers in the playoffs and finally get that damn win they've been chasing over the Steelers, yeah. the fans are going to go crazy, man. I, they deserve it. So. I 100% agree with that. There is, If they can beat the Steelers in the wild card weekend, which is crazy because they're higher seed, but I think Steelers are favored to win. Yeah, the Vegas odds, I think. They're yeah, but either way, I mean, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a crazy game. I'm super excited for it. But if the Bengals can beat the Steelers in Wild Card Weekend, they're gonna have the craziest momentum behind them into the yeah. divisional round. You could potentially see the Bengals go to the AFC Championship because of that. I mean, again, I'm not going to... Their confidence is going to be through the roof. Oh, yeah. The game with the victory, it's so. it's going to be crazy. Yeah. I wouldn't even say the confidence, because confidence, I think, sometimes makes teams lose at times. I'm just saying... Um, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm saying motivation. There's, there's a borderline between confidence and arrogance, I think. It's yeah. 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 That's true. Arrogance makes them lose. Confidence is good. <laughs> yeah, well, good point. Over, yeah. Overconfidence. Yeah, yeah. But motivation, you're right. They are like they got to be motivated already. Like just, God, like you don't want to go in on national television. Like I said, big here comes Big Brother to run the fucking party again. You know, <laughs> <laughs> come come kick my ass in front of all my friends. <laughs> I mean, they don't want that to happen. They want to just finally beat this guy. Yeah. You know? beat up the bully. So they got their shot. I give them. I'll say that much. They got their shot. They've had the better season. If there's a season to do it, this is the one. Yeah, you know? to show them that, you know, this is our, you know, yeah. season. Yeah, it's really not just time. you and Baltimore anymore. We're here, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, Baltimore's not even in the mix either, but I know what I'm you're just saying. I'm just through the course of the, the last 15 years. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be good. But, yeah. It's going to be yeah. really damn good. and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Is that the last game of it? No, it's, it's the late game Saturday. Yeah, what? No. Well, I've looked at the times again. It is a late game, though. <clears throat> so, I think with all of that, we can wrap this up, and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter with those links in the description below. We are ex- very excited, obviously, for this particular game in the Wild Card Weekend. Uh, the Wild Card Weekend in general, because Wild Card Weekend is wild. That's why they call it that. It's wild! Wild. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>